Discovering the Rhythms of Language, Understanding, Cadence. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive into a term that's not only rich in meaning but is also crucial in understanding how language flows. We're talking about cadence. Whether you've heard this term before or it's entirely new to you, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how it's used. So, what exactly is cadence? In the context of language and speech, cadence refers to the rhythmic flow of a sequence of sounds or words. It's the way our sentences rise and fall, creating a melody of sorts. It's often what gives speeches, poems, and everyday conversations a particular mood or emotion. Why is cadence significant? Well, imagine listening to someone speaking in a flat, monotone voice without any variation in rhythm. It wouldn't be very engaging, would it? Cadence adds dynamics and emotion to speech. 1. Emphasis Cadence can be used to emphasize certain parts of a sentence, drawing the listener's attention. 2. Mood setting Different cadences can set various moods. A quick cadence might indicate excitement, while a slow, deliberate cadence might suggest seriousness or introspection. 3. Easier listening Natural cadence in speech makes it more pleasant and easier for listeners to follow and understand. Let's explore some examples to better understand cadence. 1. Questions Have you ever noticed how your voice might rise at the end of a question? That's a type of cadence. 2. Statements On the other hand, when making a statement, the cadence might be steady, only to fall at the end. 3. Poetry and music Cadence is often very pronounced in poetry and music, where rhythm and flow are essential. Cadence is like the heartbeat of our language, giving life, emotion, and rhythm to our words. Whether you're giving a speech, writing a poem, or having a conversation, understanding and using cadence can make your words more impactful and memorable. We hope this video has shed light on the beauty and importance of cadence in language. Keep listening, keep speaking, and, as always, keep learning.